Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I bet you guys spent the weekend putting up decorations, right? <laughs> That's what I did. And at least the weather, you know, was uh, cool and comfortable and not hot. We've got a couple of very nice days coming up. We're going to be in the mid 70s, a little bit warmer than normal. Uh, this looks rather ominous, but it's not really uh, enough low level moisture to trigger anything. So just a few clouds passing through. Otherwise, we've got some quiet weather. In fact, even this storm uh, is going eastward is not going to affect us. The reason is high pressure is building over the deserts of the central plains and our area. And so that is going to block any kind of storm moving into our direction. Now this one out here is another one of those big, huge uh, uh, Pacific storms. This one's going to roll in and, and give the West Coast a once for in the next couple of days. L about seven days from now, we may have that frontal system sort of drift through here with some cooler temperatures, which we're looking for by the time we get to the weekend. Now, uh, out here is where the high pressure is located. You can see how it sort of migrates and for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, everything is going to be riding up and over. And until that thing gets out of the way, that's pretty much how we'll be uh, protected. But that uh, northwest storm is going to be another snowstorm for much of the Rockies, which is good. They've been in a drought just as well. And then we'll watch and wait to see what it actually does uh, in the central plains. But it's not a, um, okay, when it comes from the Arctic, boom, that's the really, really bitter cold. When it comes from the Pacific, that's cold, but little bit more more moderated uh, temperatures so you know I don't see a you know hard freeze or anything like that but it will get chillier by the time we get to the weekend so down to 48 tonight up tomorrow to 73 lots of sunshine if you need to be doing anything outdoors you're just gonna have a real pretty day and that's going to continue all the way through probably Saturday before things change. Uh, for those of you who have a chance to go a little fishing, northeast winds 5 to 10, they've settled down. So everything's settling down as well. Two foot seas and bays are running uh, smooth at this hour. For those of you in Port Lavaca, 53 in the morning, 72 in the afternoon, partly cloudy, mostly sunny. I don't think you'll have a problem with tomorrow. 45 in Cuero and up to 73 with the fairly light winds out of the northeast. So we take a look at the long term. So we're going to call it nice, mild, nice, mild, nice, mild. Even Friday looks really good for anything you have planned outdoors. But on Saturday, we will, we will warm up uh, to 76. The front comes through and then we'll only have a high of 60, 61 Sunday, Monday and getting down into the low 40s as uh, nighttime low temperatures. So yeah, it'll get chilly by the end of the week, but for most of this week, you got no problems at all. That's your seven day forecast reminding everybody we do have a QR code. We'd love for you to scan that, put Crossroads today on your phone. And here's Karina. Thank you, Matt. Coming up next on 25 News Now at 5, we'll take a last look at your stocks. Plus, Ford recalls 45,000 vehicles, including some right here in Texas.
Taking a look at your stocks, the Dow down 41 points, the S&P 500 down 25 points, and the Nasdaq down 119 points. There are multiple vehicle recalls out right now, with 45,000 Ford Fords topping the list. Ford is recalling its 2015 Fiesta, its 2016 Fusion, and 2016 Lincoln MKZ. The vehicles were sold or registered in several states, including Alabama, California, Georgia, Hawaii, and Texas. Ford says there's an issue with the inside door locks, which could allow the door to open while the vehicle is moving. Owners can take their cars to Ford dealers for repair at no cost. Chrysler, Jaguar, and Volvo also issued recalls. Amazon is helping some college students get home for the holidays. The company is offering 3,000 of its prime student members domestic flights for the holiday season for just $25. It's in partnership with Student Universe. The discounted flights will become available at 9 a.m. Eastern Time Tuesday. That's tomorrow. 1,000 flights will be offered each day for three days, and members who miss out will be able to get a promotional code worth $25 off any flight. And stay with us, we'll take one last look at your forecast, plus the Guinness World Record attempt for couples kissing falls short over the weekend in Dallas. Plus, here's a look at what's coming up on World News Tonight, right after 25 News Now at 5. Peak, tracking rounds of heavy rain, flooding and snow in parts of the country. Plus, as the U.S. pushes yep. for another truce in Israel, who knew what before the October 7th massacre? More Americans turn to the most watched newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Muir.
Experience our streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus, stream our daily newscasts, and much more using your connected TV. Just download Crossroads Today Plus on your Roku, Amazon, Fire TV, Apple TV, or Android TV. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. And finally, a Guinness World Record attempt for the number of couples kissing under the mistletoe fell a little short this past weekend. Teenage friends who run the North Texas charity Jingle Bell Mistletoe tried to outdo themselves and raise money in the process. The group set the record back in 2018 with 340 couples kissing under the mistletoe, but another group surpassed them. Now, yesterday's event in Dallas didn't break any records this time, but it was still a win as more than $87,000 dollars were raised for the North Texas Food Bank. Oh, that's a shame that they fell short, well, but money so was raised. It was a number of lovebirds that showed up, mm -hmm. right? Number I thought it was like they had to sit there and kiss for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and just, just peck her lips until exactly. the time runs just out. Exactly, just pucker up and, <laughs> and, just stand there. And, and stand there. But uh, this is for the number of, of people kissing. The couples, the yeah. And well, or I know the weather's looking pretty nice. So the we weather's can, really nice. It's so nice out. that you don't want to be at home <laughs> sick. I know. <laughs> Goodness, let me tell you guys, COVID is not fun at all. You are stuck on the couch. You can't move. You don't see people. But look, I was greeted with Christmas when I came back. Yes, and so. everything was all set up for yeah. you to come back. And <laughs> uh, this, uh, that's when your hair hurts. You know, everything uh, hurts. Everything hurts. But I'm glad you're well and back Thanks, and Matt. getting ready for the holidays. Folks, we got a beautiful week uh, in store. We've got mild weather, temperatures mid 70s all the way through Friday. But on Saturday afternoon, another cold front blows through and it's going to be chilly beginning on Sunday. The high temperature only 60 degrees and getting down to the low 40s. So, yeah, it's not uh, December's not that far away and it is now officially December.